let us discuss about a statistical view of entropy so previously uh, we have uh, already studied about uh, thermodynamical point of uh, view of uh, entropy actually okay and uh, we have uh, able to note uh, that the according to thermodynamics according to thermodynamics according to thermodynamics we are able to know that the entropy meaning disorderness disorderness okay so when disorderness will be increased then the entropy will be to increase change of entropy okay so this is the concept uh, which is which is studied in the last class okay so now we're going to uh, discuss about the statistical point of view okay so the you know there is a topic or uh, subject actually this is actually a very huge subject okay statistical thermodynamics which is known as statistical thermodynamics actually this is very beautiful and uh, subject uh, which is going to you know give, uh, which will actually act as a bridge between the quantum chemistry and thermodynamics okay quantum and thermodynamics just so it is a very good you know it, because it is an interface between these two you know different types of subject now one is thermodynamics means uh, which is only applicable into the macro systems that means big systems okay and uh, the other one is quantum chemistry which is applicable in the atomic level okay so micro system and uh, we can use the statistical thermodynamics statistical thermodynamics to you know uh, you know breeze between these two very good subject that is quantum chemistry and thermodynamics but here our aim is to uh, study or to get the knowledge or of entropy and what is actually entropy according to thermodynamics not thermodynamics according to uh, statistical statistics okay so it is a very interesting topic so we'll just discuss this one first so statistical means they will always going to uh, count no so count on, count some number so we're going to do some experiment and they will need to collect some data and on that data they will need to uh, you know give some result okay so data actually it is all all, all the statistical term or statisticals are actually the game of actually data okay data they are you know hmm, they are uh, use okay they will going to use that data and uh, utilize that data and uh, by using that data they will going to understand the system okay so here uh, let us go to the topic entropy okay so entropy no? so it is actually disorderness according to thermodynamics but what is the entropy according to statistical okay view so let us discuss actually here they give uh, four main points and the first point is your here it is written that the first point is written the atom that suppose a system let's suppose a system is here okay maybe there are many molecules are there let's suppose there are many molecules are there or maybe many more or atoms are there okay so according to the first point the molecules or the atoms which are present in that system at that particular temperature have only certain amount of energy okay. the meaning of this one is that let's suppose there are molecules uh, let's suppose the temperature is there okay so at that temperature according to this uh, okay one minute according to this uh, uh, point the they have certain amount of energy let's suppose that means let's suppose this is e1 okay they all have e1 and amount of energy let's suppose and if you apply some external energy to the here let's suppose you, you just uh, you can you can uh, you can you know insert any type of energy here let's suppose we just apply some heat okay if you if you if you you know insert some heat 
or if you apply some heat then what will be going to happen their energy of the molecules will going to increase but according to the first point they will not going to increase continuously okay the energy will be fixed certain that means if you um, apply the energy uh, as here uh, in the form of heat q okay q is heat now so it will directly the energy of the uh, molecules will be e2 that means certain okay and this is here it is written what the an atom or molecules can possess only certain energies called energy levels okay and these levels are known as which is which represent the energy no? levels are known as energy levels energy levels okay energy levels so this is the first point second point uh, in the second point okay in the uh, in the second point they say that this energy no actually the energy second point second point is related to actually um, temperature okay second point is related to temperature so what is the meaning of this uh, it actually they said that the energy the uh, number of atoms which are will going to have e1 m e1 amount of energy or e2 amount of energy would going to depends upon their temperature that means if you're going to increase the temperature then number of molecule will going to jump from this energy level to the higher energy level if the surface if, if we apply sufficient amount of heat energy understand so that means the number of uh, that is the population what is number means what population eh? the population of the uh, molecules uh, present here that means e2 energy level this is ground let's suppose e1 is your ground energy okay? so when you apply energy external energy in the form of heat in this case then molecule will go molecule will go there na, e2 so the number of molecules that means the population of molecules uh, present in this e2 will going to depend upon the temperature okay if temperature is higher then more, more molecules will go from here e1 to e2 understand eh? so that means that's why t is or the population of the uh, molecules uh, in higher state energy state will die directly depends upon the temperature okay so actually in the third, third point also they you know actually if you notice the third point also night third point in third point what they say population of the state diverse number of molecules in its states okay so actually the population is what actually the population is actually terms as diverse number of molecules in its state okay so uh, actually we it is not so easy to calculate the number of molecule present in it in uh, the levels of energy levels so that means uh, the number of molecules which have that energy now it is not so easy so they what they did they just try to but average you can calculate okay so so they can calculate the average number of uh, molecules which will going to present at a particular energy level okay so this is your third point number three uh, fourth is your number four is number four is uh, the rising the temperature excites some molecules into higher energy states and more and more states become accessible as the temperature is raised harder so it is so if you increase the temperature then, uh, the energy will be definitely the energy of the molecule will going to uh, you know high okay so that means the, the you know uh, population of the higher energy state will be increased which that means it is related to the temperature only okay so we can okay one minute so we can understand uh, one minute okay so we can understand uh, this uh, point by using by using this diagram okay so by using this diagram we can um, understand so here what they 
what they did. Actually, this uh, this represent the energy states. Okay, here if you notice this uh, image here in this part, it is like that now. So this is your energy axis. This is your energy axis, and this is let's suppose at the ground, uh, you know, at the uh, at the uh, room temperature. Let's suppose this is your uh, this is the energy state E1. Okay, so ground state. Okay, so when you increase uh, or when you apply some external energy in form of heat, maybe okay, then what will going to happen? Suppose this is E2, okay, and this is your E3. Let's suppose, okay, then the molecules which are which having this E1 amount of energy will going to have more energy. Let's suppose this will be E2, then the, this molecule will be present here. Now. So, let's suppose here first five molecules are there. So, five molecules are there. So, when we uh, you know apply some external energy, then the suppose two of them will be going to. Uh, have uh, that external energy they will be able to take that external energy and they will jump to e2 so it is going to depends upon the temperature how much temperature or how much uh, uh, heat energy you will going to apply okay so actually uh, they said that this is actually exponential that means that this increase of the number the, the population is actually it is found exponential increase okay so by using this concept okay that uh, um, uh, this uh, four concept that the first one is up the first one is that uh, the molecules have only certain amount of energy and uh, number one second is it actually the second and third all actually it's related to temp uh, the external energy no? so if we apply some external energy then the number of uh, or the population of Molecules which will be going to present in the higher energy state will depends upon the amount of energy which is applied externally. Okay, so that means temperature. It will depends upon temperature. Okay, so then and mainly the third point is that the number of will be going to increase exponentially. Or if you you can even write like this also, draw it like this also. Okay, so that means if you that is if you, this is the number of molecules or the energy density then it will be your the increasing the population increasing increment will be exponential okay so by using this concept one scientist known as Boltzmann's he derived an equation okay and by the, using that equation actually we can even calculate the number of atoms uh, which will be to present or number of atoms present in that state or even in that state or even that state okay so this is very uh, interesting um, relation okay which is given by Boltzmann's so we're going to discuss this okay and actually he used this concept okay okay so Boltzmann so Boltzmann uh, he used that uh, uh, the that points and he derived an equation and the equation is actually n i is equal to capital n e to the power minus e i divided by small k capital t summation of i e to the power minus e i by small k t okay so this is your Boltzmann distribution actually okay this this uh, this actual equation is known as Boltzmann distribution okay so he uh, he derived this equation and according by using this equation actually ni is ni is the number of molecules with energy yeah so this is actually number of molecules okay number of molecules with energy e i okay e i so that means let's suppose here you can 
to do it. Yeah? Let's suppose this is E1, this is E2, this is E3, like that. Yeah? So uh, here up to let's suppose this is E2. So uh, how many number of molecules will be going to present uh, at that uh, uh, or how many molecules have EI amount of energy can be calculated by using this relation okay so let's suppose we have to calculate uh, number of molecules of, of uh, present uh, in that system which have e2 energy then what we have to do we have to just put here e in place of i have to put two and here also two two okay so here capital n represent the total number of molecules that means the total number of mo molecules present in the system so if you if you uh, want to conclude or if you want to uh, actually conclude this uh, uh, you know relations then you can conclude like that this way so here let's suppose there are this number of molecules let's suppose there are 25 number of molecules okay and this will be present huh? total number okay total number of molecules is there's about 20 have no, and 25 so it will be your capital m total number okay and ni represent what that ni represent the number of molecules which will going to have ei amount of energy so let's suppose we uh, we insert qi amount of energy and by absorbing this energy uh, this energy let's suppose some of them will going to get uh, ei amount of energy let's suppose this two will going to get EI amount of energy then ni equal to what ni equal to 2 understand that so this is very simple no? because this is very little amount of data is here that means a little amount of molecules are present but in a real cases okay in a in a system there are many 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 molecules are there no? many so it is not so easy to calculate by using this simple so we can that's why we we can use this relation in such cases where many molecules are present and by using this relation we can calculate the number of molecules which will be to present at uh, or, or which will have that amount of energy hope you understand this point now okay so up to this uh, uh, we able to calculate the number of uh, number of molecule which will have EI amount of energy okay so even we can calculate by using this formula what we can calculate we can calculate the number of molecules which will have e2 and amount of energy number of molecules which, which will have e3 amount of energy okay so uh, like that we can calculate okay for all the all the number of molecules which will going to present respective energy state okay this is let's suppose e1 e2 three okay so i think you understand that now by using uh, uh, this you know uh, actually concept or this uh, postman distribution what you can get you can get the number of molecules no that means the populations number of molecules means the population so we can get the population populations of the molecules which will have that certain amount of energy okay so now we're going to use uh, one concept uh, by using which we can um, get the information of the entropy okay so how we're going to get the uh, information of entropy by using this population concept okay so he here you see in this part okay so in this part what he did so Boltzmann gave the link between the entropy between the entropy and uh, the W and what is W actually W is actually your micro stage so how many states are there okay so states means how many molecules have different types of energy no? so actually this is also depends upon the disorderness okay so one minute 
Okay, so we have uh, this uh, Boltzmann's. He actually link the entropy with one terms known as microstates. So what is microstate? Microstate is actually this W. Okay, where W is what? W is the number of microstates. Okay, number of microstates. The way in which the molecules of system can be arranged while keeping the total energy constants. So that means that the way, how many ways we can arrange the, you know, uh, the, the molecules in that system. So we can, that is the, uh, this is your um, microstates. Okay. So once you have that microstate, uh, the idea of that microstates, and this can be calculated by using, uh, you know, this distribution actually, Boltzmann's distributions. Okay. So there are other distributions also there, most Maxwell's Boltzmann's distribution. So by using that, uh, those concepts, we can calculate the value of this number of microstates. Okay. Here it is, microstates. That means how many way we can arrange the meaning of that. How many we we can arrange the molecules in a system while keeping that uh, keeping the energy fixed? Okay, that means total energy will be fixed. Okay, that means the total energy of the system will be fixed. Okay, but how many way we can arrange them? How many way we can arrange the uh, molecules? Hmm. So that means uh, that suppose they have four. Uh, four. Uh, let's suppose they have four uh, molecules. Okay, so this is E one and this is E two. Let's suppose. Okay, and when they may be like that, two, or maybe they are like two. Okay, so there are many ways by by which we can um, by by which we can arrange them. But the thing is that the total energies must be constant that means in these cases e1 is equal to not e1 okay this one is equal, it should not be if this one is equal to this one then the total energy of this system will not equal to the total energy of this system because you see let's suppose this e1 is 5 kilos okay then 5 into 4 20 kilos okay then if it will be like what 5 into 2 10 kilos and it will be slightly higher now then it will be like your let's suppose this represent six okay 12 kilos so it will be your 22 kilos so that total energy will be not same okay so uh, we have to find out a way how we can arrange them that means the total energy must be equal to must be equal okay for the all arrangements hmm. so if that means here only one possible way is there no? so their w is equal to one Okay, so you cannot you, uh, you cannot uh, uh, arrange this uh, you know uh, this um, this molecules in this way because if we try to arrange <coughs> these four molecules by using this uh, way, then we will get different amount of energy. Okay, different amount of energy. That again, uh, here in the in the you know definition, it is written that the energy must be equal. So the energy here it will not equal okay so that means the we can only the the, uh, the we can only arrange in one way okay so that's why the microstates is equal to one understand no? so uh, such a way we can also uh, calculate for or uh, calculate the microstates for other systems okay so once we have that w so and to actually to uh, cal uh, to calculate the microstate we have to know the uh, number of molecules which are present in that uh, uh, in that state or the population and the population can be calculated from what by using the Boltzmann's distributions n i is equal to n i to the power minus uh, e i by k t divided by summation of i e to the power minus e i by k t okay so that formula we have to use to calculate the population yeah, after after obtaining the population we can only calculate the w okay we can arrange them okay so to arrange them we have to know the number of molecules now 
Understand? Eh? So that's why we use that Boltzmann distribution. What we have to do? We have to first calculate the number of molecules which are present in that system by using uh, that uh, Boltzmann distribution. Then we can we, have, we can arrange them in some uh, in such a way that they, their total energy should be fixed. Okay, that means constant. So if we can uh, arrange them more than one way, then it will the W is equal to greater than one. Okay, if only one way is possible, then W is equal to one. Simple. Okay, so that means once we have that value of W, then we can have the concept of entropy. Okay, so he actually Boltzmann gave uh, one relations uh, according to him, the entropy is equal to K L N W where W is that one, the micro state number of micro micro states and K is actually Boltzmann's constant. We all know the value of this one, now. so and this is your entropy. So entropy can be also calculated by using the statistical view or statistical concept by using which what we can calculate <coughs> sorry <coughs> we can calculate <coughs> excuse me the number of uh, molecules which are present that means the micro um, population after population microstate once we have that microstate then you can calculate that yes okay so if we have only the microstate is equal to one that means in this case okay only one then the s is equal to zero why because use k k l n W ln W uh, ln one is equal to what? Log one is equal to log base one is equal to always zero. Okay, because here ln is equal to what? Ln x is equal to two point three zero three log ten uh, x. No? Okay, so in case of ln W, we can write. We can okay. So let's do it systematically. Okay. So let's suppose w is equal to 1. So it is the question is if w is equal to 1, then calculate then calculate the value of s. Okay. So that means we know that s is equal to k ln w. So k in case of uh, you know this ln we can write 2.303 log base 10 w k into 2.303 log 10 and w is equal to 1 so it you always we know that log uh, 1 log base 10 1 is equal to always 0 okay so that means k into 0 is equal to 0 that's why s is equal to 0 that means the entropy will be 0 okay so that means what it is w is equal to 1 means what the microstates is 1 means they are we cannot arrange them in another way now that means they are in ordered way Order will mean what? Their entropy is zero. Okay, if this is totally ordered, okay, that means they will act as a you know disorderness will be present there. Okay, so s will be zero. Hope you understand this concept. Okay, so coming to the next page. Wait. Okay, so here. Here actually we have already discussed this this part now because here they said that um, you know here s is equal to k l n w okay so this is this help us to uh, quantify actually this help us to quantify disorderness okay uh, the meaning of this is that if w is equal to more than one that this is not in order way that means they, we can arrange them in many way that means disorderness will be there okay it is the concept is like that hmm. so if w is equal to 1 then s is equal to 0 we have already calculated this one now. and uh, if w is greater than 1 then s is also greater than 1 okay so i think you understand this point now now coming to the next point next point is actually the justification of actually this is interesting okay? the justification of thermodynamic view by using the statistical statistical view of entropy okay so how we will going to how will you going to justify this concept okay how oh. so how we going to justify uh, the thermodynamical view 
of entropy by using statistical view of entropy. So what is uh, thermodynamical view of entropy? Thermodynamical view of entropy always remember that when you are talking about thermodynamical view of entropy that means it is only disorderness. Disorderness. Okay. Disorderness increase, entropy increase. Okay. So and according to the statistical thermodynamics, statistical thermodynamics or statistical point of view, we know that S is equal to K L M W. Okay. So when W is equal to high, okay, then there will be more microstates. Okay. W is equal W means what? Microstates. Okay. So if temperature is high, let's suppose these are what these are actually states. Okay, number of my states, number of states, energy states. Now, so if the number of energy states are high, that means the microstates are high. Let's suppose this is E one, this is E two, this is E three. So when we are going to increase the temperature, then the molecules will going to occupy the higher energy, higher energy state also. That means the microstates will be high. Okay, that means this is directly related to the temperature. That means once the temperature will go to increase, the microstates also going to increase. Okay, that means entropy will going to increase with temperature. So this is according to what statistical view. Understand? So according to statistical view, we understand that S is related to temperature. So temperature actually indirectly no? because temperature is going to increase the number of microstates. Okay. So once the microstates number increase, yes, it's going to increase. So according to uh, thermodynamical point of view, we all, we already know that there are maybe many if, if, if you see this one, this one okay. This one okay, this one. So here you see molecules have what they have um, uh, you know thermal motion because of the thermal energy they are going to have, going to you know uh, going to, they have actually random motions right? this motion may be translational rotational hybridation many any, anything okay but they have motion because of the, the temperature thermal energy actually okay so once we increase the temperature or once we apply some heat if the wall is permeable to that heat that means closed system it is not closed uh, it is closed system right? closed system but not, uh, not adiabatic, adiabatic system if it is closed system then heat can come out uh, from outside to inside so once the heat is going to come from outside to inside then the energy uh, or the randomness of this will going to increase once the randomness will going to increase entropy will going to increase that means disorder will going to increase resulting increment of entropy so this concept is also based on what temperature okay so that means when temperature is increasing temperature we increase the temperature by applying this heat now by applying by adding external heat into the system okay so when temperature is increased entropy is increased and in this case also you see statistical point of view also temperature when temperature is increased entropy is increased that means according to the uh, statistical view the temp when the temperature is increased entropy is increased so this will going to justify the thermodynamical point of view because here also temperature uh, entropy is related to directly related to temperature okay so uh, thermodynamic point of view can be uh, justified by using the uh, this what is this this is your um, statistical view of entropy okay hope you understood up to this